In this video, we'll take a look at how to calculate water of crystallization of hydrated salt. Okay, a hydrated salt has some number of water molecules surrounding it. So when we take a look at the question here, we have nine grams of hydrated salt, that is copper sulfate dot XH2O. Okay, so remember we have mass M to be equal to 9.0 grams and then it is dissolved in water of 500 cm cube so let's say the volume of water is 500 cm cube which is equivalent to 0 0.5 gm cube 0 0.5 dm cube all right and it's its concentration was experimentally found to be 0 0.072 molar. So we have concentration C to be equal to 0 0.072 molar. Okay. Now the first question says that calculate the molar mass of copper sulfate that X is 2 O. So I, we are calculating molar mass of copper sulfate We are calculating the molar mass. So, well, since we don't know the value of X, that means when we try to calculate the molar mass, we're going to have a variable inside. So what you can do is to look through the informations that are given us and see if we can work out the molar mass from it. Now, what you have to know is that concentration is equal to mole over volume. But mole is equal to mass over molar mass. So when we put mole into this particular equation, then we're going to have concentration to be equal to mass over molar mass times volume. And remember, we are interested in the molar mass. So when we make molar mass the subject, then we're going to be having molar mass to be equal to mass um, divided by concentration times volume. So that is easy to do. So when we have the molar mass, capital M, all we have to do is to put in the values. So the mass is what? 9.0 grams. We have 9.0 grams. Concentration is 0 0.072. And it's multiplied by volume. And the volume is 0 0.5 gm cube. So when we punch this in the calculator, what are we going to have? We're going to be having 250 grams per mole. 250 grams per mole. All right. Now, the other part of the question, it says that X, we should find X, the water of crystallization. The water of crystallization is X. So, water of crystallization, X. What's of crystallization? All right, so how do we go about that? Now that we know the molar mass, we will have to use the, we will have to use the molar mass, which we have here, to work out for X, because we know that sulfur, if you look at the individual atoms, we have the copper, Copper has a molar mass of 64. Copper is 64. We have sulfur. Sulfur is 32. Oxygen is, is 16. And then we also have hydrogen. Hydrogen is 1. Okay. 
So these are the molar masses of the atoms we have in that particular compound, copper sulfate dot XH2O. So the molar mass is going to be is going to be copper 64 plus sulfur is 1. So we have sulfur 1, which is 32. And then we have four oxygen atoms. So plus four into brackets, 16. And then plus we have XH2O. So X into brackets, hydrogen, we have two. So we have two, one plus oxygen, 16. Okay. So if we punch this, what are we going to get? We are going to have, remember all this is equal to the molar mass which we've calculated here in I. And so we we'll have this to be equal to 250 grams per mole. 250 grams per mole. So we'll end up having molar mass to be equal to 160 plus 18x plus 18x. Remember the 18 is water, and this is equal to 250 grams per mole. 250 grams per mole. Okay, so all we have to do is to work it out. So now when we take 160 to the other side, we're going to be having 18x to be equal to 250 minus one six zero so we'll have eight and x to be equal to when we take this out we're gonna be having 90. so when we divide through by eight and this will cancel out and then we'll get x which is our water of crystallization to be equal to five so now we know what our complex salt looks like we have copper sulfate so4.5 h2o okay 5 h2o so you could tell that this particular salt is copper 2 tetra also sulfate 6 pentahydrate okay now if you don't know how to name this kind of salt then you can Check our playlist on inorganic chemistry and learn how to name this kind of complex inorganic salts. All right. Good. So the last part of the question says that we should calculate the number of copper two plus ions in 100 cm cube of the prepared solution so now when we take our salt the salt is copper sulfate okay so we have copper sulfate and what happens if this dissolves in water we're going to be having copper two plus plus sulfate anion so 42 minus right so from this equation we can tell that the mole ratio between copper sulfate so4 and copper 2 plus ion is 1 is to 1 okay 1 is to 1 that means that whatever mole we have for copper sulfate pentahydrate will be equal to the mole of copper 2 plus because the ratio is 1 is to 1. All right, 1 is to 1. So what we can do here is that we've been given the concentration. The concentration C was given to us to be 0 0.072 molar. So what this means is that What this means is in every one TN cube of solution, or in other words, in thousand 
thousand cm cube of solution, we have zero point zero seven two moles. Okay, zero point zero seven two moles. Now this that we're trying to find it's in hundred cm cube of the prepared solution. So what happens if we have hundred cm cube of the solution? Now that we don't know, so we we kind of call it x. And so what you can do is cross multiply and make x the subject. So x is going to be x is going to be the hundred cm cube times the mole zero point zero seven two. All of this divided by thousand cm cube. Okay. And so we can go ahead and cancel this and this. And so we have 0 0.072 divided by 10. 0 0.072 divided by 10. And that's, I think, will give us 0 0.0072 moles. 0 0.0072 moles. All right. But then that is not what we are really interested in we want to find the number of copper two plus ions so what you can do is to use Avogadro's number we know that L which is Avogadro's number is equal to 6.02 times 10 exponents times 10 sorry times 10 exponents 23 okay so for every one mole of a substance it must contain this number of entities okay so if everyone more should contain this number of entity then what about the fraction 0 0.0072 so we have the expression number of entities for copper 2 plus will be equal to the mole times the Avogadro's number and so we are going to have n and to be equal to the mole 0 0.0072 times Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 exponent 23. Okay, and what do we get as a number of copper 2 plus ion in the solution? When we punch that in the calculator, we're going to be having 4.33. Times 10 exponents 21. Okay, so this is the number of entity of copper 2 plus we have in the solution. Now, I hope you understand how to calculate the water of crystallization of a complex salt in mole concept. Okay, if this video is useful, then remember to like it, subscribe, and also share with your friends. Thank you.